guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ditka Alu here and today I'm going to talk about the importance of sunscreens and I think we as Indians because we have a little bit darker skin than others, uh, we tend to I mean ignore sunscreens as such because we don't get as severe as sunburns as others. So I'm going to talk about what type of sunscreens are suitable for what type of people and what you can use on different parts of your body. So if you want to watch this, then keep on watching. First thing about sunscreens is that they protect you from harmful sun rays and sun rays have two or three types of sun rays. The first is UVC which is very very harmful. It is very harmful but because we have really good ozone layer it already filters out and we don't get that face anyways the two most common rays are the ultraviolet a and the ultraviolet b which is called uva and uvb rays so basically uva rays cause skin aging and wrinkles and skin cancer and stuff like that which are really bad for the long run so be very careful and UVB rays cause severe sunburns so if you are getting sunburns then you have to apply a sunscreen which is highly uh, protective in UVB rays as compared to UVA but obviously if you want to look for a sunscreen which does both of these like protect you from UVA as well as UVB then look for a sunscreen which says broad spectrum that means that the uh, sunscreen is uh, having all the chemicals that protect you from UVA and UVB as well so that's a really good combination one other surprising fact is that UVA rays also harm vitamin A in your body so you have to be also careful about that so let's move on to the numbers which are there on the sunscreens which many people don't really understand like 15 30 50 plus and stuff like that so let me just tell you if you are someone who is in the sun and gets a sunburn within like 20 minutes and if you apply a sunscreen which has SPF 15 then the 20 minutes will be multiplied with 15 and you can be there in the sun for about 5 hours and then till that time you won't be getting sun, I mean sunburn similarly if you apply SPF 30 then you can be there for 10 hours and if you apply SPF 50 you can be there all day but then usually what doctors and others also suggest is that once you apply sunscreen every 2-3 hours you should reapply because you always do stuff outside and then you are constantly sweating and stuff even when you're applying a sunscreen which is water resistant and you've gone swimming or surfing and stuff you should reapply your sunscreen to actually have the good effect that it has so in a day you can apply your sunscreen two to three times i would say when you're applying it like maybe nine o'clock reapply at 12 and then reapply at three that will be kind of enough for the entire day so that's what i would suggest usually that's what i do so coming to one of the confusing parts of sunscreens which is the pa it's very very simple the only thing about pa you need to know is that pa plus 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 which is three pluses is the best basically pa is the protection factor of that spf i mean the sunscreen and the more plus signs it has the more protectiveness it has so pa is directly related to uva rays and if you see a pa plus uh, sunscreen it gives very less protection towards the UVA rays PA++ gives a medium and then PA++ gives a very good protection so I would say the best uh, sunscreen that you can go for daily wear is a sunscreen which has broad spectrum SPF 30 PA++ I hope you understand I'll uh, like uh, write it here so that you guys get a clear idea or if you're outdoor all day doing like fun activities like hiking or maybe uh, cycling or stuff like that then opt for a SPF 50 PA++ that would be good for outdoor activities like playing basketball and stuff like that but for just daily wear going to grocery shop or maybe office PA30 is more than enough. If you're someone who's living near to the equator or maybe in a very less ozone uh, layer area, then opt for SPF 50 as an alternative because I don't think SPF 30 will be enough for you. Now coming to the different types of formulas that uh, sunscreens have, there are loads like mattifying gels, sprays, creams, I don't know what all. So yeah, I will just tell you my preference of sunscreens that I like to use on my body. My preference usually is towards sunscreens which are not greasy because I hate greasy. I have an oily skin 
and I do not want to apply greasy products on that. So this Lotus uh, spray sunscreen is really good. I've been using this for about two months and I've been really enjoying this. This is uh, sweat and waterproof uh, and this is in a mist form. So you directly take this and mist it onto your skin and then rub it in. It has a very light coat of white uh, kind of layer that goes on but then it kind of gradually fades away so it's okay and then it also says on the back it is anti uva and uvb so you need to definitely see when you're uh, like buying it this is an spf 50 uh, because i usually apply it all over my body and when i'm outside i really like to have a really good coverage because my skin is a little sensitive and it tends to get like dark very easily i mean tan very easily so i like to have this one on my underarms i like to use the sunscreen this is the vlcc sunscreen this is their raspberry seed oil variant and this is also water resistant and uh, it is also spa 50 pa plus 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 on the back this says it's a broad spectrum sunblock protection so you need to definitely see that and this one has a little sticky and thick formula so when i apply this on my underarms they tend to sweat a little less than usual so i like to use that and it's very very important to apply a really good uh, sunscreen on your underarms because it's something that we usually forget and kind of ignore but definitely remember to apply sunscreen on your underarms. I do not apply a separate sunscreen for my face that's because most of the products like my face products have already SPF in them like my moisturizer, foundation or BB cream. They have 15 to 30 amount of uh, SPF so I don't really feel the need to go ahead and apply separate uh, sunscreen for my face but if I'm going just like bare face outside which is very less but then yeah that happens i do like to go for a gel mattifying uh, sunscreen i'll put the link in the description box below you guys can go ahead and check that out the sunscreens that i've just mentioned will also be down in the description box so do not forget to check that out and i hope you guys do like this video and you kind of learned a little bit i hope this was informative and you guys definitely do go ahead and apply the sunscreens which is really important for your skin in the short run as well as in the long run and one of the major actually thing that i forgot to talk about is skin cancer most of the time skin cancer is caused by these harmful sun rays so you have to be really really careful so yeah apply good sunscreen it's always better to take precaution than prevention afterwards so yeah i hope you guys did like this video and if you did then do not forget to like this video and share this video so that other girls and guys will understand the importance of sunscreen so that's it for today guys do not forget to subscribe to my channel i have lots of videos coming up and also do not forget to follow me on my instagram snapchat and twitter i will have all the links in the description box below do check them out and yeah see you in my next video till then bye bye about range it's really nice it's black and white it has a kind of boho look to it which i really like it's very flowy and it's got a high low pattern i love the print on this top because it's got that rajasthani block print type of a feel to it this is another floral print kind of jeans wipe top it's